Hey, everybody, how are you? Yeah, <clears throat> it's that time again. Time for a celebration. We've hit a new milestone. We now have over 400 subscribers. Thank you very much. I haven't been making as many videos as before. So I apologize for that. I recently moved from one location to another. So I've been caught up with what that entails. So you know how you got these boxes of stuff that you think is valuable to you that you set aside and well, at the last move, those boxes never got unpacked. They went into a closet and then went into a storage bin. And so I've got stuff from like a long, long time ago that I had not unpacked. So it was totally time to unpack those boxes and sort stuff out. And that's what I've been doing lately. I also mentioned what it's like to be retired in America, which means you're never really retired completely. So along with everything else, I've had to keep a, an inflow in, yeah. I had to keep a cash flow going, an income stream. As many of you know, I own a transportation business. I bring people from one location to another, generally to airports. Recently, I had a really bad situation. I wasn't sure if I was gonna talk about it, but here we go. I was taking somebody down to JFK Airport, in New York City. It was my first time with this particular customer. I was picking them up from my old hometown, West Hartford, Connecticut. The sensor light was going off, saying that I had low tire pressure. I had gone to a Valvoline for service just a couple days earlier. So I went back to see if they could just put air in the tires. This was a full hour before the time that I said I was gonna pick up my customer. At the Valvoline, they discovered that I had a nail in my tire. And this was a Sunday, so my options were somewhat limited. I immediately drove the car down to uh, an area where there was a couple of service stations that were open, tires, tire stations specifically. I went to a Goodyear tire place that said that they couldn't take the nail out because the tire tread was too low. And that they couldn't replace just one tire because I had all wheel drive. And so I had to get four new tires. I had told them that I was in a rush, but I'm not sure that that really mattered to them. So about an hour and a half later, and $850 later, I had four new tires. So I immediately went to get my customer. I pulled up to the house. They came out shortly after that. We loaded up the uh, 
the back of the car when we took off for New York. The weather in New England lately has been crazy. So we had these squalls, torrential downpour squalls, just a lot of rain all at once. That slowed things down a bit. And then when we hit the Connecticut Turnpike, down along the shoreline, traffic was bumper to bumper. When we first left their house, it looked like there was plenty of time, but that time kept adjusting and adjusting and adjusting as we hit more and more traffic. So I went as swiftly as I could to get some people there safely. I arrived at the airport about an hour and 15 minutes before their flight. Being an international flight, that was a very narrow margin. I did the best I could with what I had. Sometimes that's not enough. So long story, longer or shorter or whatever, they missed their flight. I've been doing this business for over 15 years and this was the first time anybody had ever missed a flight. They did catch a flight a couple hours later and everything actually worked out. They were able to continue on their vacation. But you can't make everybody happy all the time. Definitely not. And when a person sees the opportunity to complain, they generally do. Before they returned back to the United States, they had sent me a message, not just a message, more like a very, very long paragraph uh, stating how unhappy they were. I guess in their mind somehow they think I caused everything that happened. There were a lot of words to read if I wanted to argue, I could have argued every sentence that the person wrote, but I chose not to. So what I ended up doing was sending them a full refund. So not only did I not make any money on that trip, I actually lost money between gas and tolls and, and everything. Sometimes doing the next right thing is hard, very hard. But I also knew it was the right thing to do, so no regrets, zero regrets. So again, I want to thank each and every one of you subscribers for coming on board and watching my videos. I really appreciate that. I needed to learn the hard lesson with business. Sometimes you can make a mistake. If I had it to do again, I wouldn't do it any differently. You know, I could have just taken that tire with the, the nail in it and took my chances and drove these three people to JFK Airport. But there's something to be said about safety first. So I have no regrets, man, no regrets at all. Anyway, I'm happy, it's a, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful day in America. I'm at the Natick Mall, Natick, Massachusetts and uh, gonna go do some walking. All right, God bless you.